I've got comics, yes I do. I've got comics, how about you? I've got comics, yes I do. I've got comics, how about you? Yes siree, a little bit of cheer here, got my comics. This thing is telling me that I have 20 books this week. Let's jump into it. Maybe. Oh yeah. The unboxing part of videos that everybody hates. The wrestle with the packaging. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, advertisements. Titan Comics. Advertisement. Trigger Man. Don't even look at Titan Comics anymore. Ooh, Dark Souls of a comic book. I don't know if it's as bad as the game. Not that the game's bad. Anyway, um, insects. Uh, number, um, in, insect. Number six. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is rolling into the end of the arc or how many more issues we got before the end of the arc, but uh, always interesting and entertaining, to say the least. Uh, ooh, mirror. Number five. This might be the end. I always really like the art. Um, enjoy this story more and more as it goes along, which is a good thing, right? That's what it's about. Weavers, issue number three, I believe. Yep, three of six. Weavers, really digging the art. Interesting story. We'll see what happens, um, what they, what this is all going to be about. A little more story there. Oh, yeah. House of Penance. This is issue number four. That is a freaking cool cover. Man. Woo. Um, Tomasi book, um, Ian Bertram art, the art rocks in this book. I just really, really like it. Uh, Ian Bertram clearly has a distinct style, works for some things and maybe not for others, but really enjoying it for that. Uh, the final issue of the dark and the bloody issue number six, excited to see how this all ends. Who sells their soul? Who, who, who writes the wrongs and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Bunker issue number 18. Really love uh, Bunker. Um, pretty complex um, time travel type story and whatnot. Uh, looks like we're having a funeral here. It should be interesting because we're burying a future version of one of the characters. Um, yeah. Really, really cool book. Abe Sapien. I think we're rolling down to the end of Abe Sapien here at some point. Uh, fairly soon. Love this cover. Um, Always great art by one of the art by one of the um, Furama uh, brothers. In this case, it's Max. Um, I said if Max did the cover too, or if that's the Sebastian cover. Anyway, um, good stuff. Good stuff all around. Always really like Abe Sapien. Really interesting. Yes, Wonder Woman issue number two. Get the beginning of the year one begins here, so you get all that wonderful. Um, Nicholas Scott art on Wonder Woman. Super excited for that. Interested to see this beginning story. Maybe how the two tie together. Uh, the Flash issue number two. I like that cover. That's a cool cover. Um, I don't know. I don't know that I'm that excited about the Flash, but it'll be it'll be fun to read while I have it. They haven't been bad. Just not necessarily falls into that category of just a character I'm not super excited about. But it was part of the bundle deal. So, and when they're basically giving comics away at 50% off, hard to walk away from them. Um, but I did just do a comic book order yesterday, and I am walking away from some of those books, some of those first of the monthly books. Oh my gosh! Industrial tape! I'm not getting out of that bag. Shoo! Okay, the other half of my books. What do we got? course upside down uh nightwing um issue number one. Oh, nightwing rebirth so this is a rebirth issue it's not actually the proper nightwing book uh, excited for it anyway um seely writing it you know he wrote he helped write the um prior grayson which i really love so i'm hoping that this just kind of goes with the same sort of thing clearly more of a superhero band because he's back to being nightwing um in the blue uh, but, um, yeah, looking forward to that. 
Oh, Civil War crossover. Of course, you won't believe who hires these heroes. Power Man and Iron Fist, issue number six. Hopefully, um, hopefully it's not really a, that much of a tie and it really tells its own story kind of a thing. That'll be nice. Um, still, Green's not back on art. Don't know if he's coming back to art. Maybe he just did the first couple issues. I don't know. Anyway, it's always a fun, fun fiddle faddle comic. Oh, uh, top of the list to read right here. Vision number nine has been absolutely brilliant. Here lies the visions. May God have mercy on its soul. Um, yeah, it's just been a brilliant King book. Um, uh, Walta's art, Belair's colors, just a absolutely brilliant, brilliant book. Wicked and Divine, uh, issue 21. That's an interesting cover. A lot going on there. Oh, he's excited to read the Wicked and Divine. This this arc has been so action packed. It's it's been really um, uh, interesting because of that. Because it's ha you know it's built up to all this stuff. So I don't know. The, the action has meaning and consequence because we've built up all this other stuff. Uh, Daredevil issue number nine, guest starring the Amazing Spider Man. Did read some Spider-Man that is not by slot, I guess. Um, Soul doing the writing, this, of course. Um, uh, Suzuka is doing the art, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I like Garvey on the art, and um, this person kind of is aping Garvey. Or maybe it's the coloring that makes it look like it's aping Garvey. Um, but not as excited by it. I don't know how much longer I'm going to actually keep with Daredevil. I was excited to start out with it. And I just don't like where this last kind of bits and pieces of story have gone. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Don't know on that. Ah, Detective Comics, issue number 936. Oh, look at that. The melding of Batwoman and Clayface. I've really been enjoying that. The first couple issues of that have just been lots and lots of fun. Comic book I'm really interested in reading. Um, this is the new Superman number one. Um, so we have a Superman in China. Um, and I'm really curious to see what that's about. Um, I really like that cover. Fun holding the one up like that. Um, it is written by Yang. Um, Bagavagich is the art and friend on art with High Five doing colors. Um, I'm curious about this. Uh, you know, this is one of those books that uh, you know is trying to represent a different demographic in some sense. Written by somebody who is um, uh, Chinese of Chinese descent. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm curious all around about it just to see what all it's going to be. Uh, you know what? I actually I really kind of like that costume too. You better look at it inside. But as far as new costumes go and whatnot, I like that. I Kind of a sucker for the cape that goes over the shoulders, though. I kind of like that look. Um, Horizon, issue number one. This is a um, image book uh, under the Skybound imprint. Really, quite honestly, I have no idea about it. I, I can't remember if this is the one where it's basically, um, you know, aliens aren't the only... I mean, humans aren't the only one. Man isn't the only one that, that transverse across things and then uh, conquers and takes over everything. Um... I'm just not sure. And to tell you the truth, I, or, I, you know, I got this one. And then when I ordered comics after this, I kind of neglected to remember that I had ordered it. So I'm only getting issue number one. I'll have missed issue number two and number three if I really love this. It'll be a challenge to try and find where that's at. But I think this is the one that... Um, I think this is the one where this alien's planet has been wiped out and so she's come to earth in an attempt to um uh take over here and 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 build up a a, a place here because she has nothing where she is at um i don't know some seriously basic kind of artwork Clearly, I will talk about it at some point. If not on the Comic Book table, I will talk about it in the video after that, hopefully. Um, here is um, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. This is the Rebirth issue. Um, Betty writing it. Um, of course, uh, Van Shriver doing the 
artwork on it um because clearly it, it can't be hal jordan green lantern if if um van shriver isn't doing the art on it i guess i don't know seems to be the case anyway um i have no excitement about this book whatsoever anybody who's watched any amount of my videos where i talk about lanterns and stuff knows i am not a hal jordan fan um never really have been i like him fine um when teamed up with green arrow back in the day uh, otherwise yeah, whatever um so probably at the bottom of my list i'll end up reading it i'm sure but it's at the bottom of my list the only reason i got it is it's part of one of the bundle deals so anyway uh birthright issue number 17 always enjoy reading this book uh it's interesting the art in it by brisson is is insanely good i mean just how rich this cover is um the the ink textures and cross hatching and and all of those elements um not to say that the that the coloring uh by lucas isn't outstanding too because it certainly is but he does not leave it to the colorist to do the heavy lifting of trying to create something uh there um it really is you know the, the inking that he does that makes it pretty damn amazing and i love it i love that style of art that kind of harken back to that style of art and finally um issue number uh 959 of action comics with superman holding clark on the cover and of course little doomsday in the background so yeah i don't know how excited I'm about that um little doomsday thing I'm gonna read for a while because i'm curious about this whole aspect um but yeah, action comics are one of those books that i don't know how long i'll be hanging on to can't imagine that i'm gonna read that many superman books but i definitely like superman book is awesome anyway that's it um i will see you on the weekend if you happen to tune in for comic book roundtable if not for that maybe i'll catch you next week when i'll probably talk about all these books again uh with a disembodied voice or maybe by myself but at any rate um have a great weekend everybody and catch you later